Hey guys, how's it going? Kuperian here. Today I want to give you guys a really fast paced and sweet Alakir game. It was uh, at the tail end of a pretty unlucky night, so I was a bit down. I really needed this one to work out. Unfortunately, it did. It was a pretty spectacular comeback game where I was really struggling to keep up with the other players and, you know, barely, barely held in there. I think it's really important to see how these games work out because Hearthstone, as, as a basic mechanics format, it has next to no comeback mechanics. It's The whole game is a snowball for stats, builds, and just pushing the weaker players out of the game as fast as possible. If you start on the wrong foot, if you get a bit unlucky, if you have a weak turn, if you you know make a mistake and don't fill your board as you probably should on one of the later turns, it's just done. It's over. And there's not much that's going to catch you up with someone who has a stat lead on you. That's why Poisonous is in the game. But there are other ways to try to hang in there, and I want to give you guys a pretty sweet example of one. Have a look. God, beasts and mechs. No, no, that, that's how you—that's how you play at the highest MMR. You like level really slow and always have lots of stats. So if you don't get super lucky, you still get like fifth place, fourth place. If you just play like micro efficient. My have skin as bad as the hero itself. It is pretty bad. The beast bar is always open in set. A puny purchase. Well, the reason I'm frustrated is like out of my last three games, I think two of them had a good chance to get like first place. If only I didn't play like first place, then the next first place, then like second place, and then like third place, because I can't play anyone else. Like that. And that's just fucked. Because, like, all, all of those players in the last three games were just, like, super slow leveling, playing some mid-range demons or divine shield bullshit. But uh, I'm probably just going to call it after this. This better be like a fucking fantastic game for me to have any any desire to play another. It was very similar last night too. I don't know, maybe a bunch of like casual players quit or something, I don't know. Or maybe it's like alt smurfs or something. Everyone's playing as they're playing at like 10k right now. That's That's what's going on. Everyone's playing that way. Everyone I'm up against anyway. The Preserve MMR gameplay. Very excite. Those are pretty crap. Even a small flame can ignite a roaring blaze. Means I no longer know what high MMR is. I don't know. I was at like 8 before PoE week. I literally tanked it from 8 because I was only going to play while I was going to eat. And under higher sleep deprivation while eating, I had better games than the last Your day or two. <laughs> 8k is pretty high because uh, it starts to queue up against the people who are like mega tryhard. There's so few players north of 10. Those guys just end up in games full of people below. All right. Even a small flame can ignite a roaring blaze. Fine, let's just dump our bananas. 8k can queue up against 13k, but they all end up top 8. Not necessarily. I did get a 6 link today, though. Just dropped off the ground, finally. Damn. But that was a pretty shit. Mm. <sighs> One more. Alright, I 
I guess. Sleep sleep decks. Cool, yeah, right. Constructed all day tomorrow. You mean on Tuesday? I'll give constructed a try. I don't know about the all day bit. So lucky there. Now, grow stronger, brighter, and fight back. Need a drink? Fuck. That's a pretty big deal. Tier list of most fun BG heroes. Vol'jin's definitely number one. I really like playing the cat if I'm not like at too high MMR. And Millhouse. I like Jandis a bit as well. And Hook Tusk. That's my list. Top five. Spam demons. Good times, boys. Good times. Come forth, my servants. Got a lot of quill war. I don't know if I should play those now. Fine, let's uh, let's play those now. Bomb first for blood gems. I really want the wind fury to be on the parrot. Holy shit, I'm gonna lose again, dude. Oh, maybe not. Okay. I was getting there on that one, dude. It was getting there. know what I'm doing, but pretty strong, I guess. Bob was fired as a scapegoat for the recent Blizzard shenanigans. He's Ragnaros now. Something like that. Sucks. Terrible hits. Holy shit. Oh, this guy's dead, though. I was very unlucky. Yeah, it had to be 100%. And yeah, it was unlucky. Looking for under. I think they have enough attack. 
actually thinking that Arm of the Empire would be pretty good if I want to level and I do want to level. I think I'm going to freeze it. Never seen Ground Shaker being used? It's a pretty used card, dude. Fifteen, I hit him for eight. Amazing. And thank you. Actually, think I'll go with the strong shell. And I do have to go all in on the strong shell here. Okay. Like, I only hit the ghost for 8, but uh, he did go to 6 this turn, so be a massive power spike. hit for under two consecutive rounds after losing a 50-50 and now I just lose another 50. Taste the flames of the Fine. Shargla. This is much more of a well more infused Azure. Yeah, I think I'll skip. Range demons. Very high starting health.
Barely, but got him. sure what to go with here. That's a lot of stats. Thinking of maybe selling this engine. I think I should sell the taunt. Hey, watch out! I'm baking here. Problem is that got a death rattle. My shield for Argon! The fringes of winds guide me. Oh, I sold the flat tusk. What'd you guys expect? The parrot has taunt anyway, because they put it first. Wolf's probably not going to work. Fourth time this this game where oh the guy died of the ghost. Winner! Finally, Jesus. <laughs>